the hundred stack spindle of self-produced pawn out of Austria, <laughs> which is like all the out of shape 40, 50 year olds who like go into pawn uh, to make it spice Austrian up their Austrian amateur boy. <laughs> uh, fick out, du Trottel, fick out. It's like, yeah, it's basically two ah, people. My Alger, you Trottel, du Biden. That's the oh. next live on. You're nailing it. <laughs> oh my God, you should play an Austrian. I should, I should do Austrian porn. Yeah. <laughs> I too also struggle to get an erection. <laughs> this is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Five, four, three, two, one. Five minutes, Paul. We've started recording. It's the beginning of the podcast, Paul. <clears throat> it's the beginning of the Welcome podcast, Welcome back <laughs> to a new episode Paul, of Paul, you, you were late starting, Paul. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> is this a secret thing between you and Reggie to always fuck up my intro? No. No? You Does sure? Reggie do it too? Yeah. See, it, comedic instincts, that's why we're doing so well. <laughs> Sorry, start again, Paul. <clears throat> Welcome I back. I didn't mean to be so unprofessional, <laughs> Paul. Reggie did the exact same thing, <laughs> motherfucker. He interrupted me like five times in it a row. It scares me how much, our, how fucking similar our minds are. Yeah, you, you, you're one of, what is it, two eggs out of one carton? Yeah, two peas in the same pod. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, sorry, I promise I won't do it again. <clears throat> All right. Welcome Why did you write back. my name on my piece of paper? <laughs> You're going to get confused with some other guests? Sorry, Paul. I didn't yeah, exactly. Know. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, somebody else who takes as many notes as you do. Yeah. Yeah, you're quite a note taker here. I mean, I have to say those are some intricate, intricate writings. Yeah. Quite, quite hieroglyphic to a certain degree. You shut the fuck up criticizing <laughs> my writing. I yeah. know you could write in Mandarin. Do uh, the fucking intro. Yes. <clears throat> Welcome back to a new episode of FF Perry. I'm name sorry, is I'm being really <laughs> unprofessional today. <laughs> no, no worries. It's still better than Reggie. Yep. So, All right. No, okay. I promise I won't do it again. I've got a headache now. <laughs> oh yeah, you still want the aspirin? That fuck it. It's already started. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll no, no, suffer I through. Can, I can I'll cut suffer it off. through due to your lack. No, we're not cutting. I'm suffering to your <laughs> lack of professionalism. You already heard the first part. <laughs> uh, this is the 76th episode recorded on the 20th. No, th Paul, this is the 76th episode recorded on the 20th of May, 2018. His name is Paul. And, and today we, we have him back finally after yeah. quite a long pause. It's been a while. Yeah, the live episode was the last time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. yeah, and I promised you a movie that would satisfy you and I failed. To, you to, did. A, to a certain degree. No, I, that was probably, all things considered, that was the most enjoyable movie I think we've done aside from the live episode. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so what we watched was Nacktschnecken, or the English title, Slugs. Slugs, yeah. From 2004, made by Michael Glavoger. We already covered a movie, I remember. Tamas and I already covered one of his movies. Oh. And it's basically, this is the prequel to that movie that we oh, already okay, covered. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, it features a completely different plot, but basically the same characters, which kind of makes me think that this is just... They had one good idea yeah. with the characters, and then they just wrote that <laughs> until the end of this. Because they, I think they already released like three three separate movies with the same characters. Same characters in yeah. their haphazard, get-rich-quick schemes. Exactly. like short, It's like Austrian Trailer Park Boys. Yeah. Yeah. We watched the movie, and let's go to the first category, I guess. Yep. And that's... Plot... Okay, not many thoughts here, but I'll start with my initial one. Yeah. <laughs> Every fucking time, you fucking piece of I, shit. I deserve that. I deserve that. I actually promised you no rape scene this time. Every <laughs> fucking time. What is wrong with Austrian cinema? I have Every no idea. Every single fucking time. Dude. You subject me to porn and then leads into a rape scene. The movie was called Slugs. What? <laughs> yeah, they definitely... Uh, I'm so uh, angry, I can't <laughs> even form a sentence. <laughs> and uh, again, totally, because it comes out of 
left field basically it's a happy go lucky movie at towards this point so far at least in my experience <laughs> And then there's a rape scene yes. that is never addressed again and well, does it, not uh, affect it, the it, plot. It is addressed it's once a, a and dress- all only half hazardly and like, uh, I guess we have to do this now. Yeah. But it, it's very much, let's not really speak about it and never bring it up completely. Like, it, I, I, I totally get why, you, why you're mad because it... it didn't have to be in the. It did not. No. No. They just they were like. It didn't have to be in Schoolgirl Report. It didn't have to be in Herman and the Show Snubble. It has to they're... be in very few movies. That's really. true. They're, yeah, that's true. Unless you're just specifically making a movie about rape, which seems to be the entire Austrian cinema cinema culture anyway. <laughs> okay. I can't promise you that, but I hope the next one doesn't have one in there. There won't be a next one. <laughs> I've found you too many times now. Shit, now I can't trust you, Paul. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me 18 times, shame on me. So the movie revolves around mostly two buddies, I guess. Well, three. Huh? Three. Three, yeah, yeah I guess, she's yeah, part of the yeah, gang. Yeah, Mao, Mao is part of it. And yeah. in fact, she was in, she was the one who initiated the whole plot to the film. Yeah, that's true because they, they are basically, I guess, stoners, just ragamuffins, degenerates. Yeah, degenerates. Yeah, they're, degenerates. they're totally degenerates, and they 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 spend their time basically just slagging off slackers. They're yeah, slack, slackers. They're slackers slash stoners. And they, through like random acts of God, basically get to a point where they ha- they want to shoot a pawn. Basically, well, I wouldn't say it was a random act of God. Some dude who looks like the most stereotypical <laughs> porn producer in the world. Oh yeah, yeah. Asked them to make a porn film. Play- Shorji, the character Shorji, played by Georg Friedrich. Best thing in the whole fucking movie. He was good. Is his performance of a. I'm just a mad dog, basically, put into the shape of an Austrian redneck. So Austrian. <laughs> Red, you, you were so happy about the subtitles. Like, how much of the German did you understand? I actually would have... That's Of all the films we've watched, that's the most German I understood because that's what German sounds like to me. Oh, yeah, because you spend so much time also in Graz. That, 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 that was a very Venish dialect from what I could tell. Oh, the, the main characters? Yeah. Yes, yeah. but but some of the side characters had a Styrian accent. Yeah, yeah, but that that's yeah. all what it's. Yeah, I'm just using like yeah. Dubai. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was okay. It, was, it sounds like the words are trying to fight their way back in their throat <laughs> as they say it. Yeah, I tried it. It's like you know when when you play back reverse yeah. a, a, a vinyl and it has those demon words. That's it. If a regular <laughs> person just recorded that movie backwards, that's what it <laughs> would sound like. In any other language yeah. than that. Kind comes out yeah the subtitles help they are not always the same as the, what is spoken yeah, but yeah even some, i could pick up but up. some of it was idioms that are not really translatable so they just threw in something else yeah and to go back to the but, plot but, yeah yeah i was gonna say we're getting off plot yeah we're getting, getting off plot again and which is an idea that they clearly had when they started writing this movie oh yeah it <laughs> has so many segues that go nowhere yeah like in the first few minutes we have a cheater on yeah. screen what was that i don't know what that just live wild i guess symbolism or something i want to symbolism I don't know. Dude, I don't know where the cheetah showed up in the apartment. It was just kind of like... Uh, it was almost like Austrian train spotting m- mixed yes. with, like, La Casa del Papel. <laughs> that is That's, not a bad... No, that is just, not a bad merger of the two things, definitely. If you replace porno and bank heist in that film, and it's basically the same movie. I mean, it's still a I crime mean, what they're committing. Is it? Yeah, because if you want to shoot a pawn in Austria, you have to get through a regulations board and you have to get a license. And it's like, it's a lot of work to shoot a pawn in Austria. I'm sorry, that's just the reality of it. It's not that that's necessary that, of course, Austrians need to bureaucratize fucking. Yeah. It's more the fact that you know that. Again, useless I information. In, I looked into it once. Oh, of course you did. You look like you would produce porn just there telling women how to fuck what you are you've got an eight-year-old girl chained in your what, dressing what, room what, what makes you think i would shoot a female pawn i think i would be Could quite a look- good uh, gay producer no, 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 maybe you would be i don't know you just had that you have that smarmy look about you <laughs> 
Like you should, you should have a toothpick in your mouth at all times, <laughs> dude. Eh, when I was fourteen, I was into toothpicks for like two months. <laughs> it's too bad that you weren't just walking down the street, tripped up, and the damn thing just went directly into the back of your head. Well, eh, well, I did hurt myself. Good. Yeah, I, 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 I punctured my tongue with it. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> you fucking idiot it didn't go through but deep enough where i was like yeah this is a bad idea and then i switched to the menthol ones that are rounded instead of pointy and uh, that's a thing yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. menthol fla- flavored uh toothpicks toothpicks they're also cherry coke whatever you have yeah it's weird because it mixes with the wooden taste oh uh, yeah that, that really gives it doesn't help the like bad boy image that chewing on a toothpick no nope. nope. it's like having a well, nicorette doesn't... patch rolled up in your sleeve this is like <laughs> <laughs> like Supsti, the stuff they give heroin addicts. It's called Supsti in Austria. Supsti, oh, methadone. Methadone, yeah, yeah. like a methadone. Pe- Supsti, of course that's what the Austrians <laughs> call it. Supsti! Yeah, for substitution. Oh, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Austria, you win this round. Fair enough. You fucking rape hungry perverts. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> We have a way to go to come to the rape. It's, it's, yeah. There's quite a few things happening in between. Like, for example, we have the... can't remember any of the names. Fat guy or... Yeah, weird? fat guy. Yeah, fat, okay, yeah, fat it's, guy. It's, it's, yeah, fat guy and weird guy. We're kind of called That's them. fine, yeah. Yeah. So fat guy jerks off to some speed biking. I didn't think he was necessarily jerking off to speed biking, but he was jerking off in front of speed biking. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just as, you yeah. know, scenery, yeah. I guess. Which is, like, not as weird as the fact that he's doing it next to his sleeping room. Mate. Napping. The guy was half away. No, he woke up. Really? Yeah. I, I, okay, I missed that in yeah. that case. All right, I, I looked away in that case. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I mean, it, it's also weird to jerk it in front of your half awake roommate. I, I've got friends who have done that. They've just been really? sat in the room watching porn together, which oh, is yeah, something yeah, yeah. I, I, did I, that I actually never do unless I'm with you. But they were all just sat around watching porn together, yeah. not for the sake of their careers, yeah. but just because that's, oh, that's what they were that doing. Too when I and was they like, would they would just start jerking off. Yeah. And it was like, sorry, lads, got to do this. And yeah. then it's why? when you're like 12, 13. In our case, we our friend groups had two girls in it. And one of them, their parents were always away. And they had like a huge stash of amateur porn. Not of themselves. Okay, as far I was going to say. Like... As far as we know, not of themselves, but... Like, a, apparently they were, like, in a sharing circle back then when, like, CD swapping was a thing. Oh, okay. And they had, like, a, a, a hundred stack spindle of self-produced pawn out of Austria, which is, like, all the out-of-shape 40, 50-year-olds who, like, go into pawn oh, to make it spice Austrian up their thing. Austrian amateur pawn. <laughs> oh, fuck out, you trottel, fuck out. Like, yeah, it's basically two ah, people. I'm an alger, you trottel, the Biden. That's oh, the next line. You're nailing it. <laughs> oh my god, you should play an Austrian. I should, I should do Austrian porn. Yes, <laughs> voicing Austrian porn. I too also <laughs> struggle to get an erection. <laughs> Viagra is my biggest friend. Viagra. <laughs> really props me up. They- Shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> You still haven't earned your pun right. Because that was the most <laughs> annoying thing about this. Naturally, being a film that was, like, aware that it was revolving around porn, there was a lot of fucking puns in it. So uh-huh, it was like, yeah. oh, yeah, you watch our porn names. Be like, Phil, my dick. Yeah. And I was just kind of like, right, that's it. He substituted rape for puns. That's it. I don't get an Austrian <laughs> rape film this time, but I get a load of puns. And then, <laughs> you fucking asshole, you <laughs> Fucking Pete, you managed to find the one film that contained puns and rape, and that is what I mean to object to. And you wonder why it's hard to get me on your fucking podcast. Maybe why I didn't show up yesterday was some sort of subconscious awareness that there was. Ah! So, um, the, <laughs> the two main characters are pushed into an idea that Mao, the female lead character, yeah. has to shoot Pawn. Because uh, that was one of the deleted scenes that you didn't see. She actually was pushed into it because one of her weed deals fell through. Yeah. And she got paranoid and flushed all her weed. So I'm guessing she wanted ah, to okay. recuperate that loss yeah, yeah. by ma- shooting a Pawn. Oh, that explains why the guy said he was going to throw in ganja as well. 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I so, thought that was weird because he was buying drugs from her. Yeah. In the beginning of the film. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of weed smoking in this one. Again, there it's it's basically a stoner movie. It's not really a stoner movie. There was nothing kind of like I would associate with stoner humor in it. Okay. But just, just, a, just a lot of movie stoner. Movie about stoners, yeah. Yeah, okay. A stoner documentary of sorts. Well, it's not a documentary because it's not schoolgirl report. It's (laughs) It's not as if they were making schoolgirl report. Because the the public needed to know. Yeah. Yeah. I almost said the pubic didn't need to know, but I stopped myself. So, but you didn't though, did you? Yeah, because you just I, uh, said it. You know. So you you don't get to not make a pun and then tell me the pun that you didn't just make. I it's was thinking that you're gonna fly away with no pun credit. <laughs> no, that's worse because now you've made me focus more time and hatred on it than it necessarily deserved. <laughs> I was cheating a bit on that. If that's a cheater pun, I swear <laughs> to. So they're immediately convinced to shoot a pun. Yeah, but I mean, that I find very believable. Because it's like, hey, get your dick sucked and I'll pay you money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She immediately gives them the main roles. Like, you will be in the movie. That's it, like, if I I fucking was a woman or the man, I guess it doesn't really matter either way. And I, someone, I got contracted in to producing a porn film. I wouldn't immediately go to my two ugliest, weirdest looking, fattest friends (laughs) and be like, hey want to be in a porno well that one guy wasn't fat he, he wasn't was just... fat he was husky for a porn star which don't, yes don't, yes they weren't both i i don't both w- of them don't look like they should be in a porn i don't want to body shame but i'm also like i've yeah. seen what i look like when i have sex with uh-huh. my girlfriend and anywhere near that is just not yeah. appealing i mean nowadays it's even worse with like 4k cameras and slow motion back then you could at least shoot upon with somebody who was slight, slightly out of shape, but how, nowadays that wouldn't work at all. Oh no, so it's 4K that's fucked me. It? <laughs> well, it's not what fucked you, it's what... No, donuts are what makes, fucked Makes me. you definitely not a porn star anymore in 2018. I could be a porn star if I wanted to. Yeah, you think you could pull it off? Probably not, but if, that's, what, if that was what, a pull it off pun, I swear to God. <laughs> what would be your shtick? Like every pun star has uh, a shtick. My shtick would probably be flaccid most of the time. But <laughs> <it> was, <laughs> pulled you over with that one. If that was another pulled you over. <laughs> yeah, you should have had the foreskin to see that. Ah, that just doesn't work with foresight, I guess. No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Let's abort this. No, um, no. Bask in it. Doesn't feel good, does it? No, no. We're not really. done! <laughs> You sit in that, like a child that won't stop shitting itself. You just sit in that. You learn a lesson. I think I'm beyond learning a lesson at yeah, this point. Yeah, I really yeah. don't. I don't think I can, can't be unprogrammed. <laughs> yeah, this. I think it, it, the, my software doesn't Just a Windows anymore. 95 computer <laughs> the owner doesn't want to get rid of because it had his first wank looking at that screen. It's filled with malware, but all it does, it just spews out trivia. <laughs> yeah. Useless trivia that no one needs to know. <laughs> I'm the, what's the product called? Snapple? I'm the Snapple facts of the group. Oh, did you know that the speed of light is different in water than in the in, in vacuum? Yeah, but see, that would actually be an interesting fact that might enrich me to know. You're in, you're fucking Snapple <laughs> yeah. facts. They're like, yeah. well, you know, the thing with BMW is that their assistant CEO in 1987, <laughs> he also had shareholdings in a company that made burgers in Switzerland. <laughs> but because of the fucking beef import laws between Austria and Switzerland, this guy meant he had to start embezzling from some off course company in Jersey, right? But all you could, re- but because of the mad cow disease thing, that and he had it linked in. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> that, that was brilliant, by the way. Great impression because you mashed up like four or five facts that I actually told you. Oh, in, did I? Yeah, like the mad cow thing was a thing. Tip of the head, you make a perfect Paul. You can don't you dare ever say that. To you me again. can be you can be the guest host if I ever have to leave FF. <laughs> You really want me hosting your podcast again? More than Reggie. <laughs> as long as you don't have Reggie on as a guest. Yes, but you or know DJ I James. You know I would have Reggie on instantly. Because he's one of your only friends. Yeah, I get it. What am I going to do? Hang out with you more often? You could have other comedians on. You know that. There's, I could. There's other funny people besides you and Reggie. I know there are. There are many. But none of them are going to be as destructive to your well-being as me and Reggie. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so 
back to the plot. Sure. The, first, they have a casting because they still need female actresses oh, yeah, to, yeah. to fill out the roles of the brilliant masterpiece that they thought of, which is just students bang students while they are away studying. Which is ahead of its time because that's half of what porn is now. So that's. I, I think, yeah, they predict Visionaries. Porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they predicted that truth and so they hire people and the screening process is of course in the form of a montage which is quite funny yeah i, well, I, I mean it's, i liked it i liked it like that was one of the points where i was like this is like good basic cable tv in the u.s level of funny it ha- doesn't have the laugh track in it but this could totally be part of a sitcom you know well sitcoms don't often have i wouldn't say that's a troop of a sitcom to what a montage oh in the 90s oh yeah they had a bunch of different kinds of believe me i watched way i wasted way too much of my life to not win this argument you are (laughs) wasting too much of your life having this argument (laughs) i mean yeah that's the the snake eating its own tail at this point what comes first asshole eating its own tail (laughs) All right, that was witty of me. I'm proud of that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You nailed that. Look at asshole. I'll fucking (laughs) nail you, don't you? (laughs) You've got no right to talk down to me about my comedic input, sir. Yeah, that's. Let me beat myself up. I'll fucking open up the floor to you when I'm done with it. They find one lady and then another one. That's it. They they find two. Two. Well, again, they don't find either of them. Doesn't Mal find both of them? No, Phoebe was in the screening process. Oh, Phoebe was in the screening process. Yeah. Yeah, uh, her character name, by the way, not Phoebe. She just looks exactly like Phoebe in the first uh, scene. She a lot, yeah. Yeah, like a hot porn version of Phoebe, basically. If they had have made Friends porn, which I'm sure they made dozens of. Oh, yeah, she, true she Friends, Friends with Benefits. I, that's just my head. Better be making those up. Yeah, uh, but I'm, I'm, oh, okay, I'm sure right. they All exist. Right. No, because for a split second, I thought you were saying that you'd watch them. <laughs> <laughs> I immersed myself Im- immensely into the... <laughs> On lore of, of friends. Just the fucking <laughs> the canon of yeah. friends porn. <laughs> yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gunther would never do that. It's like, <laughs> I want to see a Deadpool porn, whereas uh, where like one of the actors is the only one aware that he's in a porn film. Oh, that, if they ever made a yes. porn out of Deadpool, if they didn't do that, that would be a waste. Yeah, of or just a meta thing. Porn actor knows that he's in a porn. That alone would be meta enough to be interesting. Let's shoot a pawn together, man. No. <laughs> you can be the producer. No, because I know what happens <laughs> when it's fucking you, me, and porn, right? <laughs> We're not Someone special. in particular has a pretty lousy night. But at the end, we will create art. No, I'm not. No, I'm done with you and porn. I'm done with you, really, honestly. Because <laughs> that seems to be where the porn comes from. I watch <laughs> so little Austrian rape porn when you're not around. But yeah, as soon as you come in, and yeah, and then, then yo, oh yeah, me and Reggie are out of the line w- for making the whole DJ James thing. The, but, the Venn diagram of porn that has rape in it, and you and me meeting is exactly this. Yes. <laughs> All right, anyway, should we move on to the next one? We've been on plot for quite a while. Yeah, but 20- close it up, okay. because they tried to shoot a porn. Yeah, close it up. Uh, plug it. Plug it up. I wanted to be mad at you, but that was actually better than the one I just did. So. <laughs> Can't complain in this case. I can and will. Yeah, <laughs> okay, all right. So try to shoot the pawn. It doesn't really work. No, they, so yeah, they all have conflicts with each other. They can't quite get along. Yeah, can't quite get it in there, you know? No, no, that <laughs> happens actually at multiple times yeah, where, yeah. Where, where they have which, penis malfunctions, which is, basically. I quite like that they made a porn about two schlubby guys and that was actually a large part of it. it was yeah, like, yeah they, they, unattract- can't get, unattractive they can't dicks. do this properly. Yeah, unattractive dicks. Like, I enjoy a good-looking cock. The only good-looking one was the fake one when they dry-played the blowjob blow scene, scene with a dildo through the pants. Yeah. Which... Again, with that low resolution camera, you could shoot the whole thing probably with that. And well, it yeah, would but at still a certain like point, they're gonna like someone's gonna need to be naked. The and there's gonna have to be a cum scene. Yeah, it? that's yeah. Uh, but you can shoot those separately. Yeah, but I think that was generally the plan is that they were gonna do as much as they could with dildos. Yeah, yeah. But again, the, even that failed. Like they because she has too much dry mouth yeah. from smoking weed, which I think that was a nice continuity yeah. thing. Like clearly effort in put into the different strains of this very messy plot. Oh, it's not really messy. It I, is messy because they, they don't achieve anything. There's no, there's yeah, that's no higher the point. It's, it's just, 
Yeah, they they go in. And There's no every, character development. And everyone's. They just go back oh. to being friends at the end. Yeah, they failed. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. That, that, I guess that's failure. The plot. If failure is the they, they achieved a sort of meh ending, not a, a complete. Oh no, everything is bad and proper drama. Yeah, and not like a real happy ending. Just yeah, well, that's, a, that's eh. that was probably what would happen in that situation is that they would fuck up because they went in like, oh, how difficult can it be? Turns out very difficult. All right, let's just go back to the table and eat chocolate. Right, the chocolate game. Yeah, I think I figured it out. Like you. Yeah, yeah, me too. Okay, you have to roll a six. To get your turn. Yeah. And then you put on three items, I guess. And then you can, with fork and knife, eat a bar of chocolate. Until or someone or, else rolls or a Or mana six. or Neapolitana yeah. oh, I wafers. Know. I need some mana. You really like them? Mana, yeah, I love them. Having maybe not grown up with them is a bit easier for yeah, me Yeah, because it's the go-to present of every aunt and uncle that doesn't like you <laughs> we when, have more teasers for that in england really yeah we Maltesers get teasers is way better yeah they're nice don't get me wrong but it's like you get them in a little cardboard box in england that's what you get for uh, someone's birthday yeah there's the sort of we don't care about you present i, I like guess, your dad and I this guess is I the have politically to to right you. thing yeah, to yeah, do yeah, yeah. yeah that's mana here yeah mana or i guess Raffaello or Ferrero Rocher. Okay, Ferrero Rocher is quite an exquisite deal in, Aus in Austria and England. Really? You have no chocolate No, no, that, 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 that's sort of like we couldn't put any effort into thinking about your present, but we still like you. Ah, so we'll get like you a Ferrero bottle of Rocher. whiskey or something, like a fancy whiskey yeah, yeah. or something. Fuck it, I didn't yeah, write yeah, down any notes Yeah, you don't need anyway. those notes. There are like three <laughs> words written on it <laughs> next to the categories. I hate pool. <laughs> Waste of time. <laughs> they finally pull off the motivation at the end yeah. by having like a motivational speech. <laughs> it's like, well, it's it's like the, the Austrian version of, of Independence Day and like, we are animals. Yeah, it's we the, will defeat them. It's the fucking <laughs> brave heart of Austrian porn. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't animals. sure, like, was that, because they said they needed a fresh angle, so did they yes. decide that they were going to have this big motivational thing? And, and then, then they, they were actually got into it, I think. Oh, okay, I, I, think thought that, that was... I thought the whole thing was just sort of... An idea? Yeah. No, no, I think they started with, let's bang on this couch together because we need one big... Sh big scene I yeah, guess yeah. but also they actually got into it, into it also by smoking again a shit ton of weed and then those were fatties he rolled and I didn't see any tobacco except for cigarettes running into the garden afterwards yeah. acting like chickens and fucking each other or monkeys first and monkeys at first but then it just evolved chicken. into whatever animal that you was felt like hilarious though the guy with the little cock playing a cock yeah that was pretty funny that or just oh then at the end they started waddling like penguins and, and we also have some fake banging between the dudes like the, it, it, yeah. it's very communal sex like what i guess at least my idea of like a hippie community sex scene would be basically like we're yeah. all three and let's yeah. just enjoy each other's bodies you know something like that it had that vibe to me but it was really well done and it was like a really good close-off and also but the, just bad porn I like <laughs> it was also the climax of the movie. Yeah. And the, also the climax of the one strain that had that little bit of fiber of next to the rape scene, I guess, that they ditched was the other fiber of drama was the jealousy of Max. Yeah. Skinny, skinny dude. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, and his aff affection for the, the male... For Mal. Uh, for the, yeah, and they, then the, the fat dude bangs her... On the lawn, under yeah. the moonlight. Quite romantic. It was, yeah. if, if Max hadn't been filming it, I mean, like, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, being a jealous prick and just being a dick the whole time. And then they have their big fight, under air quotes. <laughs> Again, more dramatic than the fucking rape scene, but still... <laughs> Like, yeah, it was. That's yeah, yeah. Wow, you, dudes, you, you're Wait, shifting. You the don't tone. get to question shit. <laughs> Why not? Because you made me fucking watch it again. I didn't know, man. What was the first thing I said to you when you whopped that one out? That looks weird. I yeah. guess. Yeah. <laughs> the cover comedy drama and i saw a comedy film if anybody is to blame here is amazon no it's you and the amazon's reviews didn't say anything about rape it just said funny comedy with porn i'm sorry dude i know it's my fault but also not that much just the universe and i guess blame austria if you want to i will yeah blame i'll austria. blame you as well okay fair enough <laughs> let's move on oh yeah they cheese on the tomatoes oh yeah <laughs> well they 
just so, the yeah, fat dude yeah, that, jerks the his fat, head to the, the, to the garden. The, the fat dude's like, oh, I know what would be a cool scene. Me masturbating. <laughs> That's what this movie needs. And we get a full frontal shot too. Yeah. Like, that that one was amazing, actually. Do you think that he had a cum stand in? Or did he actually I juice don't, on the tomato? No, they didn't. Did you he never plant saw his come. own seed? You never saw... Give me something. Did he blunt. reap the benefits of that? I'm going to ignore you. They never. <laughs> you never actually saw cum coming out of his dick. It was just him masturbating and going... Yeah, ah, the, yeah, yeah. And then like a cutaway and then the... Over a but tomato. that just doesn't mean that they didn't shoot it. And that he I'm didn't sure shoot it. I'm sure it entirely means that. Okay. Because it also didn't really look much like cum. It actually reminded me of the McDonald's sauce, the new one, the new... Vinegar oh, the one, one that's ruining McDonald's for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, exactly the, that the one. The new temper <laughs> tantrum dressing. It has sugar in it. Why? Because salad dressings do. No, the original d- didn't. For the Austria. salad dressing I learned to make when I was working in a restaurant had sugar in it. Yeah, because you you have shit salads. That's why you needed to spice it up with sugar. We I had guess. good salads. Or you buy. You never had our salads. Or you buy really cheap vinegar. And then you have to balance it out. If you get a really nice balsamico, that one is sweet enough to be unsugared mm. on its own. I'm not sure about that. Oh, I have to give you, I think, a 16-year-old or something if I get my hands on one. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> balsamico <laughs> trades going on. Yeah, so they don't succeed because Max dumps the... the Max whole- dumps the fucking chicken orgy in the, in the swimming pool when yeah. he sees them fucking which really is the best thing that he could have done to that footage oh yeah nobody wants to see that yeah. porn. no no if you I, I, I guess except if you like are really enth- an enthusiast of austrian porn alternative porn because that chicken scene definitely pushed it into like the alternative form. like nobody with a normal brain will be like yes this is my first choice to jerk off to is yeah. a bunch of people doing interpretive animal dancing and also fucking each other it's somebody who has a beret maybe like or something like that would jerk off no i don't see beret no what, no. what, what are you saying i don't know so honestly and i'm not saying this to be a dick but someone who looks like you <laughs> Not you, but somebody who so, looks someone like someone yeah, who's yeah. all about this. <laughs> Next category. There, there's no end to this movie, so let's fuck it. Cinematography. I mean, it wasn't bad. It, it, no, it, they they showed a lot of good. Di- uh, well, the not- cameras seemed pretty shitty though. It looked like the cameras made it look like it was shot in the eighties. Oh, it was shot on a shoestring budget. Yeah. So yeah, there wasn't a lot of. Sometimes I guess it, they wanted it to. To look like the shooting it on a on a Sony Handycam from the nineties. Well, yeah, but that that's something different. That's like the actual yeah, camera that they they're were, using to make it, the porn it, it in the amateur world. It looks like fucking world. Cloverfield. Sometimes. It, it was quite Cloverfieldish <laughs> with the night cam mode with the green thing <laughs> tint <laughs> on it. Yeah. yeah, I guess it's also a Cloverfield porn. Yes, the only thing missing would be somebody saying he's so startled. They have some really good shots of I think Shaji. With his uh, yellow car. Those were some it, really good ones. It was cool. So, yeah, it was a shot of this, like, douchebag driving, like, a Mustang or a Corvette or whatever. It was a Corvette, was. Yeah. yeah. A Corvette and, Stingray. And they had, like, a camera going out the window. So you saw it, like, it was recording the reflection of the car driving through yeah. the windows. Which was a really cool shot. I don't know why they used it twice. It's yeah, like, really <laughs> cheap with it. It's, it's I mean, like, this is I badass, get, so we need to put it in again. I mean, I, I get, yeah, exactly. I think that it's it. like, they were like, they like we need a filler, we need a transition shot we they, already have this cool one they made the same fuck up that they it. did with the music that pro- that shot probably cost f- like <laughs> 20 grand to make yeah. and they were like we're using this twice yeah that's <laughs> i mean they already shot in graz which is way cheaper to shoot in than vienna yeah they're already there they're saving a lot but this was not cheap to do because you have to clear out streets for that i mean also they had that highway shot where she yeah, just was pretty- she just cuts off a dude you need a stunt driver for that you need a stunt car and you need to clear the highway for that i'd like to think that, that she's just a really shitty driver and they just had that uh, yeah, in there. And that, there's some guy who had no idea what was going on this driver like don't throttle because he, he, he did flash his front lights like his front beams did he yeah yeah he are you sure them. you're not just making that no up? no no he definitely that seems like something you're lying no about. no 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 she definitely the, the, yeah. the bmw driver yeah. definitely flashed his uh, it was quite funny but yeah, the crash scene was alright for the time, I thought, at the end. 
end yeah. where Georgie crashes the car and then just starts randomly shooting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that one was also really well done, I thought, with the smoke coming out of the car and having like the car into the the beaver dam. Yeah, the beaver dam sign, which was also very well translated. The kleine Pelz, the little fur. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. But- oh, beaver dam. That's just. <laughs> <laughs> That's just come together in my head. What a horrible name for a brothel. <laughs> the beaver dam. Yeah. Austria, get it together. You are not setting a good example for yourselves. Yeah, this was internationally screened, this movie. Foreign audiences watch this movie. It has English subtitles, you know. The <laughs> beaver dam. Yeah. Oh, Oh, we, we totally forgot the letter side story. Oh, yeah, which well, didn't really go anywhere or seem to do anything. It just made fat rapists seem even more of a creep. Yeah, but also it had, like, a sweet ending. It kind of did. Because the couple banged at the end and that was like, oh Yeah. He finally understands what she's into. Yeah, so. he really... Yeah, so it was like this big meathead dude who found his wife reading this erotic letter that fat rapist sent her While they're building their family home. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, is this what turns you on? Fuck you. And then he tries writing erotic fiction about his so wife. So funny! Which was just like, she hands me the spanner and her dress slips down <laughs> as I stand on the Bosch ladder that was And I he's bought. like Dr. Gutenberg, just totally copying everything. Yeah. Uh, he's like, he just used the template and used it on the things they are doing right now building this home yeah. together he's the carlos <laughs> mencia of a Ros- austrian fan fiction not bad not good reference not really very outdated <laughs> I was like, wait, who's a comedy thief? Fuck, 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 Yeah, yeah, fuck, no, fuck, that, fuck. I mean, yeah, I mean, when it comes to comedy thieves, that's the only one I really know. Yeah. Like, there's, there's nobody else I know, really. The shot in the pool, when they start bang- making out and banging in the in the pool. Yeah, where I was, was saying okay. they were pooling their resources. That was the, the one where I was like, they, they... Did you just double down on that pun? Yes, I did. You fucking <laughs> asshole. It, it looked the most like a pawn to me. Like from a that cinematography was the, yeah, standpoint. Then I was kind of like, oh, this is how... Uh, this could be actually erotica. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was the first time. I guess also because it hit the, the flaps of the guys. And you still had the boobs of the girls to balance it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it was nature's way of saying, look, this can also make be made, made attractive if you had it under murky water. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it does its job. I mean, we watched it on a DVD. There is no Blu-ray, sadly, of this. Because I, I I can't believe they didn't press that on Blu-ray. Yeah, because it seems to me that most of it was f- shot on film, and you could rescan it for high definition, no problem. No, I'm being sarcastic. I There's know, absolutely I know, no reason to put this on Blu-ray. You <laughs> hey, don't need to you, justify why they didn't want, from a technological that... point of view. You don't need to be like, well, you know, it's hard to put it on Blu-ray because of the film, and then because uh, it was made in 1990, and then there was this big crisis in Austria with light bulbs that year, which meant that it was really difficult to film something in this kind of way it's like shut up it was a, right, it was a weird movie it has right. no place yes yes you're derailing this whole thing yeah is that not why you bring me in here yeah I guess so <laughs> I guess so yeah no no that's fair enough to <laughs> mock you and tear apart something that you work really hard for you are the what's what's the guy the, the hamburglar of my podcast the hamburglar <laughs> I think Reggie's the hamburger because he's yeah. the deliberate and better villain. I'm more like Grimace. I'm just there. <laughs> I'm just there waddling around, fucking things up. No one really knows why, but I'm just, just like a bumbling blob, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Oh <laughs> I don't like that your podcast is McDonald's. I don't. I don't think you need to be any creepier than obviously being Ronald McDonald in that situation. <laughs> I, but really I love kids. Yeah. <laughs> Listen back to the April Fools episode to Do you understand see why that joke. I... Yes. <sighs> you force our hand. Not as much as the uh, hand of the sound guy was forced in this movie. Let's move on to sounds. Because they had to overplay some, like, a lot of noise, apparently. Because they had, after the fact, 
added in uh, sound effects for stuff. When they were in, in the postal office and the sorting machines, yeah. I think the audio fucked up when they originally recorded it, turned it up, had a lot of noise, and then put... At least that's how it sounded to me. I'm oh, not okay. a sound engineer. Oh, so they just that, redubbed the, yeah. the speech. Yeah. At least that was my feeling to it. Uh, the same thing with the car ride, where they were in the car ride yeah. and they were talking. That, oh, that's yeah, that it. looks great. Well, I mean, like, there was no... It, there, like, it was shot from, like, outside the car so i guess yeah you, you probably ju- would have to redub that no you just have a microphone inside with a cable you <laughs> buffoon you yeah, just this, dude this movie was shot for like 80 uh, yeah, euros yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah i guess they couldn't afford the cable Fair. and we're talking about, we're talking yeah. it was like set at a time when like they like getting free phone calls and internet was the whole reason they would run a grift yeah yeah, yeah that's like, true so yeah, the that- technology because it was based in present day then so they might I don't know what the technology for wireless mics was then. I know they existed, but... No, like- that w- what bugged me about the sound. But on the other hand, the music selection was very well done. The especially for cool. early 2000s, to make them look like these pretentious dickbags during the disco scene. Muy bien. Yeah. Muy bien. The use of old rock and roll music because it's the dad and stuff like yeah. that with Led Zeppelin and all good stuff. Well, they didn't, they didn't play stuff. Led Zeppelin. They said no, Led no, Zeppelin. No, no, you can't play Led yeah, Zeppelin. Exactly. They, I think they gave rights to their songs like for movies four or five times yeah, yeah. in total. Uh, one of which was School of Rock. That's yes, and <laughs> Thor. Really? The last, last one. Okay. Thor Ragnarok had... Uh, I don't think I've seen any of the Thor movies. Had one of them. Oh, Thor. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> yeah. Thor. Yeah. Like, like, Thor? Four? I I never really learned to distinguish between th and f. I've just been making I've been making the same really? noise and, and Reggie being... slamming me for my pronunciation. Yes, that's not fair. It's entirely fair. Fair. <laughs> Oh, and I really like that they predicted carpool karaoke by having them beatbox. They didn't sing. Pre- predict carpool karaoke they did. first off shit, why man. do you watch carpool karaoke i don't second I just off know of just it. doing something isn't predicting it Fair that's enough. like when i whipped you with the paper at the start of the podcast because you're yeah. an asshole and then years later someone fucking found out that i bludgeoned you to death at the edge of a okay. coffee table <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like well he predicted it yeah you see the first one yeah the real instigator. No, but okay, not Kapu. Uh, but uh, still, they beatbox. Well, that was them that, just finding their common ground. That yeah, was their and that story. That was good. Too. Yeah. I, that's what I actually liked. That yeah. was one of the parts where I was like, oh, yeah. That's, that's a nice story. moment. Yeah. I guess this movie really makes you root for the two ladies that got dragged into it, even though they, one of them is unlikable as hell. She is i guess the the proper nomenclature would be a stuck up bitch i mean no no for, it, yeah. for, for agreeing to do a porno and then being so eh about it feels like it's that stuck up bitch is being used way too many times but this would be like a proper use I, for it it's not a, it's not it. that i'm even opposing to you using the term i'm just not sure if i agree with it but i'm trying to like think it through now and because she drove away with the car. That was she, pretty shitty, yeah. She disagree- She drove them there by the car, so she effectively stranded there in bumfuck stereo. And believe me, there's nothing to do in bumfuck stereo except for going... Except to- for bumfucking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the own paid bumfucking at the, the Beaver Dam. That's the only thing you can do at this time. And damn, is it expensive there. She was totally fine with shooting a, a lesbian scene, but then immediately pulled out when it came to actually fucking a dude on camera, even though apparently she already did it. Well, no, wasn't it that she was she was pissed with the other girl and she didn't want to work with her? Yes, that too. That too. It I, might, think, might have I been. think that was just the screen behind which she it could have her, her true feelings, which is, I don't really want to go through with this. Again, that's her character trait, and she played the, the actress. Oof, so good. Yeah, really played that uh, infuriating character really well. That was ec- masterfully done. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I don't have any issues with the sound or anything. To oh, like, I thought it was really- cool. I think, I think it was funny that they spunked their entire music budget <laughs> on, on, get, one on getting paranoid by Black Sabbath, and then <laughs> which like, is well, a great song. It's a good song, of course it is. But yeah. then, like you. 
probably got paid quite a lot for it uh-huh. for a low budget Austrian movie. Yeah. And then they're like, ah, fuck, we've got like 80 bucks to finish the film with. <laughs> Yeah, let's just ask all our friends who play music to create tracks Basically, for us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there was a whole, a whole lot in this movie. There was a whole lot of handshake deals going on. It was, it was also like that. That scene with Paranoid was for a scene with her parents being on vacation. <laughs> Yeah. That was just completely like, why yeah. did they go? Like, why would, like, s- show them driving off so that, you know, the cars, the, the, the house yeah. is yours. Empty, yeah. But then they just, it's just a random shot of them being hippies in love and old yeah. on a random occasion. Yeah, just so a it has romantic nothing vacation. to do with the plot. Yeah. I 100% think that, again, I know the, the guy who played the, the dad yeah. personally, like 10 years ago, but still, I knew him personally. I totally can see him doing just a vacation there on purpose. And they were like, I know this cabaret, the stand-up comedian. Let's just drive with him and shoot some B-roll footage. I'm sure that's not how it happened. I, it's probably close to the truth. Again, they show up at the end too when when the, the master plan was of shooting a pun is still put in place yeah. by Georgie. And they have no impact on this story because they were like, just like, oh, let's party with the pawn crew. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, that was a very... That was a weird ending to the film. Yeah, the movie didn't... I think if it just cut out that and had it as a as an after credit scene, it would have been totally fine. Yeah. By ending with her being in the car and driving away from the guys, that would have been the perfect ending. We're really bad at clearing up the plot oh, on yeah, this podcast. Oh, totally, yeah, totally. We, we fucked this up bad. But this is also an actual enjoyable movie to it a certain is. degree. So you can actually watch it. So it, okay. us discussing the plot only very poorly actually helps you out, guys, this time. So back to sound. <laughs> yes, back to sound. Yeah, do you have anything else to say about sound? Because no. otherwise... Okay. Best moments! Dude. The, okay, is that your best moment too? or No, I don't know. Uh, best moment. I don't know. It's really... I was generally like... I don't... Yeah. I, I wanted to pick a best moment, but I couldn't. And it's not because I hated everything equally this time. It's yeah. just like, okay, I don't really know what stuck out here. Right, except for the penises. Um, I fucking knew it. Come on, that was was just hanging there, you know, low hanging fruit. And if that's another pun, <laughs> no, I wouldn't pick that. Fruits of my loin, you know. And uh, <laughs> okay, well, that was the podcast, everyone. My name's Jack Holmes. We'll see you next week. Um, my, this, you can't save my evening now. My, my best moment, actually, I think, was the animalistic climax scene at the end. It was it that was one a, was wow. They actually thought about something to close this me, whole thing off. Well, they didn't it, close it. That, that no, wasn't no, how no, close no, it no, anywhere but, near. I mean, but, the pawn thing. Yeah, like by making something because they were claiming like, oh, let's make something really artistic, make yeah. something really good. Everybody else makes just those shitty pawns. This time. It actually makes sense. Yeah, but it was just bad porn. Again, the idea was original and artistic. That was yeah. The idea, I, was, I, I was they quite delivered like, on that. I was rooting for them, like when I thought that the whole thing was on purpose. But yeah, best so, moment. So Fuck. that was mine. I, oh, oh, I guess where Georgie slips after he crashed the car and shot yeah. at the same time. Yeah, I'll give that the best moment. That for was. Sure. Hilarious. Him just shooting the speed because, camera. And, dude, no, the, no, no. Him him <laughs> trying to shoot the little kids. <laughs> yeah, we totally forgot about that. Yeah, that definitely. Please, please. Come on. Well, yeah, there, like he's got this fucking mustard colored Mustang that's going that that almost sounded like a pun. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, you were we were you no, were was, edging was really verge. close yeah. to that one. Uh this car is his, like pride and joy and his motivation for why he does basically everything in the movie. Yeah. And then at one point he sees a load of kids fucking Fair all motivation, over it. by the way. No, it's no you don't think so? Nah. I, I never That's got a sweet ass car. I never got sports cars. I would feel like a twat driving in. Oh that. yeah, me too. Volkswagen totally. Golf. That's what that's that's as high as cars go for me. <laughs> that's all I want Why in life. Why would you pick a Golf? That's all, that was my dream car. Like really? when, I, when I cared about driving, I was like, I just want a VW Golf. I mean, day. I guess yeah, it's a really good car. And it's, it's just a well good, made. reliable yeah. car. It looks all right. Yeah, it's humble. It's a humble car. That's okay. all I ever wanted with yeah. my VW Golf. See, I had the. You had the dream about a German car. I had the dream about an American, uh, British car. I oh, yeah. always wanted a Mini Cooper 1962 with the racing stripes, the rally edition. Because I, that, I think my uncle's building one of those. They, at the they, 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 uh, they did them for a while with 
for a di five additional horsepower, yeah. which back then actually had a huge impact on the car because it only weighed like 350 kil kilograms. Oh, you I caring. do know what horsepower is. Yeah, no, but I mean... I'm being sarcastic. I, don't, I, don't, like, I really don't care. <laughs> but yeah, that was you, my dream. Mini, Mini Cooper was a nice addition yeah. to the conversation. And but then after it, that, I lost back you. to the 20 minutes of useless facts that are just like, I can't remember what my girlfriend's face looks like now <laughs> because that fucking unnecessary piece of information has just shoved something else out think, of my ear. Do you think if you ever get the death penalty that this would be like the most an agonizing death? What, just listening? Me, me being next to you whispering words uh, yeah as i try to figure out how to swallow my own tongue yeah that was, <laughs> that's it there's no end game if you don't kill yourself then you I just should i think i should sell my skills in this case to like russia or any other it's state like the, that like, has the like the u.s the army would that would use like they would play metallica advanced really loud to advanced get interrogation to get, methods yes yeah they, they would like use that to get like terrorists to come out of their holes they would just play metallica yeah. really loud. <laughs> they just give you a megaphone and say any jumping off they point actually, like milk in bavaria in the 70s go and then <laughs> Yeah. I guess that would work. They should really weaponize me. Just weaponize me. They should me. cure you. <laughs> That's just you as a pacifist saying that. No. <laughs> No, no, you know, if you like, want, you, I'd be very happy to show you how unpacifistic I can be. I would fucking lament in showing you how openly okay with violence I am. All right, I'm pro-violence. I'm just not pro-anfrax, you know. This is fucking... I'm not pro-cancer. Let's yeah. cure cancer. Yep. And let's cure Paul. I guess so. All right. <laughs> oh, sorry. That felt too mean then. No, 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 no. Uh, I guess I, I wasn't tuned into that level of mean. Like, so, when when uh, Reggie comes in, I mentally prepare myself yeah. before that. All right, I'm getting shit on for at least five minutes. All I can do to knock back is make obnoxious puns that he hates. Because that's the only in to his heart that I have. Yeah, but you realize if you didn't do that, then he probably wouldn't hit back pre Oh, no, 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 no. I've seen you discuss stuff with him. You can be, like, you could be the best comedian ever, the most interesting person to talk to, and he would still stab you the whole time in yeah, the nuts. Yeah, yeah, You know? <laughs> he could, oh, Reggie. He, he could get the Nobel Prize for comedy which they created for him and he would still be like oh you all oh, fuck you all <laughs> like Nobel Prize more like Nobel my ass or something like that you know and then yeah, just, that's because that's what Reggie's like Nobel Prize more like Noble my ass I don't ca I can't do a Reggie to be <laughs> honest so like I can't even fathom I can normally do a pretty good me. Reggie but whenever I get an impression of something he does down really well then like he stops doing he dodges yeah, no and no he dodges and weaves yeah, yeah exactly whenever I get my impression of him good oh, yeah. he changes his Riff personality it. what it's a callback to a previous episode with Reggie the listeners will know yeah, hi, Reggie. Josephine will know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we have done all of that. So I'm guessing all that is left now is the secret category. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what would they call the, the poem? I'll, I'll bite. What would they call the poem? Because it's students. Study hard. Yeah, that's, that's good. It's a good jumping yeah, off yeah. point, but that's not a Yeah, no, 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 no. It would be probably study hard one. Book banging. Yeah, love trigonometry or something like that. You know, from the love triangle, trigonometry. Is it a triangle? Just... There was four of them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> love quadrature, that's not even... Love trigonometry wasn't even a pun. All right, that one was bad. That one was, was truly bad. Uh, okay, what, what else? I didn't set the bar high with book banging either. <laughs> no, no, you, you really slid in there. Planting the seeds of knowledge. Because he was cheesing on the tomatoes yep. and, and, and also You're he was way studying. too hung up on that fucking jizzing on the tomato <laughs> scene. I mean, it, it, it's quite refreshing to see somebody jizz. I haven't seen chis somebody jizz on a tomato before. That was like a novelty thing for me. How many vegetables have you seen jizzed on? At least, cu like all the phallic shaped ones, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> Cucumbers, uh, there's zucchini, some, there's some the good, occasional pumpkin if they have weird ones in the bio shop down there's, the street. There's some good gourd porn. Gourd porn? Yeah. Gourds. Gourds? Yeah, pumpkins are uh, a class of gourds. 
I don't know what gourds is. Gourds are like a, it's a is that family li- of plants. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude, that was hilarious for a biologist. What I just said. Good gourd. I point. bet it wasn't. Okay. All yes. right. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, it's no fun when uh, you get sad. <laughs> Well, the, maybe maybe from the animalistic standpoint at the end, like no che- cheating allowed or something to have the cheetah I like that the- you're trying to incorporate the cheetah, but yeah. no. It, it, let's be honest, it would probably be just, because it's early 2000s as well, it'd probably just be something like horny students fucking each yeah, other. Yeah, horny students five European class yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that's true. Maybe something with Austria, yeah, no, you know, at high, at top, at high mountains or something, because it was in Syria and that's kind of mountainous, Damn. but it wasn't on a mountain, so. The scrolls are right there and they're just out of reach, yeah. bro. It's clasping, but you can never get them. Yeah, yeah I tried to sow water at this point, yeah, that's yeah. true. Just stitching I like together. that, is that a poor original or is that an Austrian? So, so, uh, 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 I think it's a, it's an American idiom. Really? Sowing water, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like treading water, but more of a, like a Sisyph- Sisyphian, Sisyphus, Sisyphus yeah. kind of metaphor. All right. Where you're still doing work, but it's all for nothing. There we go. I learned yeah. something interesting today. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Other than how quickly consensual sex can turn into rape. It was it was quite the black mark on this whole and on this whole experience. If they I would have been fine with out, it. Yeah, if they seriously if they cut out the 30 seconds of that, it would have been high quality late 90s early 2000s and it's comedy porn. Still would have been the same movie as well. Still would it like you could cut out that scene and the movie wouldn't have been affected at all. No. Same experience. But at yet all. they yeah. didn't, and now you and me aren't friends anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> are you at this point? I, I, or are I, you just glad to be done? I, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously your friend, so I'm kind <laughs> of mad that this doesn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gave it a good run. Yes, we tried a few times. Yes. Yeah, let, let's stay friend on Facebook and say hello when we meet during uh, stand-up. It's worse than like, you're still one of the best I have. That's the most uh, depressing what? part. That you're one of the best friends I have. That's the worst <laughs> bit. We get the fucking girlfriends together tonight. I have a uh, glass of wine and a yeah, catch that was up. Fun, right? yeah. Yeah. Final conclusion. I'm never doing this podcast again. Yeah, fair enough. I feel like that's my final conclusion every time. Yeah, <laughs> you always come back. I always come back. Yeah, I think it's always now. It's you need that cool off period where you like you you had a bad trip. Yeah, and then you're jonesing for that heroin that's again. It. It's like hanging out with Reggie <laughs> or playing punk rock in Eastern Europe. I, I like it's always bad. It's a painful I just need, experience. Yeah, but, but like after a while, I'll start missing it. I'll be like, oh, I want to go back to Moldova and do a show again. <laughs> And it's, it's like your self-punishing character. It's like yeah. just like I need this. I I'm not worth well, enough. It's, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not narcissistic because after okay. I get a time away from it, I really start to miss it. Yeah, yeah. You, like and then, genuine. And then I come in and we begin, and I'm like, oh, someone's getting raped. I remember how much this boils my fucking blood. Yeah, the movie again, watchable. I, I actually, I, I did enjoy yeah. it. If it wasn't for the context of every film you show <laughs> yes. me having a rape scene in, yes. I would, I, man, I wish I had been paid a euro for every time I said the word rape in this <laughs> podcast. I'm going to bleep it every <laughs> single time. No, I'm not. This is way too much work. <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, it's an, an enjoyable, enjoyable movie. movie. Yeah, Especially Georgie, Georg Friedrich, amazing actor, amazing performance. He was a good actor. Yeah. He really sells that sleazy asshole Viennese dude yeah. perfectly. And it's not his, like, it's he's not a character actor. He's a bunch of different stuff as different characters. He's just a really good actor. And I love Georg Friedrich. I'm just kind of sad that we didn't see a porn scene with him because that stuff would have been hilarious. I'm kind of okay with the fact that I didn't see a porn scene with him. The yeah. two young dudes were disgusting enough. I think he would have looked way better than, like, even if you divide the, the nah, two of them. Skinny, like, skin hanging off of his ribs, kind of. You haven't seen him naked. No, yet. but I can, I've got a pretty good idea of what yeah, he would look like. Yeah, you think you... I, I mean, see, I, I saw a lot of cock in this movie, so I'm kind of like... <laughs> you tapped I'm, out I'm on I'm feeling cock. like an expert at the moment. Okay. <laughs> cock connoisseur? Connoisseur? At- cock sir would be the obvious one. You're Are you a, a farts, astronaut? <laughs> You're pre-kid in those... 
Uh, <laughs> just stop. That one was I a gave train, you the out. That was a train wreck of a pun. <laughs> it's just a car crash. Dude, at one point, it's just one train going into the back of another wrecked train with you. The train wreck was years ago, and no one's fucking told the dude at the main station. So trains just keep getting sent <laughs> one into the back of the other, just crunching metal and death constantly, and one scared onlooker going, why is no one trying to stop this? And no one's fucking messaging the guy back at Meidling. So it's just train after train crashing into each other and everybody dies. <laughs> Find Jack's blogs in the description below yeah. and see you the next time, guys. Bye! I thought we were going in for a high five there. Oh, you... you. There we go. Nice. Nice. <laughs>